Traveling is a means to success. Do subscribe travel and taste channel and like videos. For further videos stay connected. Top traditional Sudanese foods and dishes to try when you are in Sudan. Sudanese people are extremely generous and welcoming, and they invite everyone to join them for food. Sudanese cuisine and dietary habits vary greatly across the country. Sudan's geographical location distinguishes it as a link between North African Arab and Sub-Saharan African nations. The cuisine is thus a unique blend of East African and Middle Eastern cuisines. El Marara and Umfitit El Marara and Umfitit are Sudanese appetizers that are typically served together. The main components are sheep's lungs, liver, and stomach. Peanut butter, onions, and salt are used to enhance the flavors of El Marara. The Umfitit is consumed raw. Every Sudanese meal includes appetizers and stews, which are the main components of a Sudanese meal. Salat at Turkwa Fresh vegetables are something to be celebrated in Sudan due to the country's limited agricultural land. Salat at Dukwa is a salad of chopped fresh tomatoes, cucumber, and spring, scallion, onions. In this regard, it is similar to Egyptian baladi. After combining the chopped vegetables and peanut butter, the dish is drizzled with lemon juice, which adds tang and helps loosen the fatty butter. Jibnabeda the name Jibna Beda simply means white cheese in Arabic, which is a fairly accurate description of this Sudanese dairy product. It is a relatively soft cheese with the color and texture of Greek feta cheese. Unlike feta, salt is added to the milk before it is processed into cheese, resulting in a slightly stronger flavor. While it is typically made from Sudanese cattle milk, it can also be made from goat and sheep milk. Medida Madida is a semi-liquid porridge drink made from red millet. It's another breakfast dish that can be consumed throughout the day. Millet seeds must be ground into flour before being used to make madida, a time-consuming task traditionally performed by Sudanese women. The flour is then boiled with a little water, but sesame or peanut butter and sugar can be added for extra flavor. It is typically served with a large spoon of local yogurt on the side. Quindayong. Quindayong is another name for sweet and semolina. This is a traditional South Sudanese dessert made by the Dinka people. Quindayong's main ingredients are yogurt, milk, semolina, sugar, and butter. When the semolina turns pale and nutty, it is removed from the heat and served with milk. Miris. Miris is a dish made with onions, dried okra, and sheep's fat. Other vegetables, such as eggplant and potatoes, may be added as well. It comes with a cedar porridge. If porridge isn't your thing, Sudanese flatbread can be served instead. This Sudanese lamb fat stew is traditionally cooked over an open fire. Basbousa Basbousa is a wet semolina cake popular throughout the Middle East. It is made with yogurt and flavored with cinnamon and lemon in Sudan. The cake is finished by soaking it in sugar syrup. Because of its wet consistency, basbusa is usually very sweet and can be considered a dessert rather than a cake. After dinner, it is served with tea or Sudanese coffee. Base Seema It's the simple things that taste the best when done well and with love. This is true of the understated base Seema. This simple cake tastes fantastic. The ingredients are simple, but they combine to create a baked surprise. Base Seema is a lemon-flavored sponge cake with coconut. Golash The best way to describe golash is as a traditional Sudanese meat pie. It's a popular dish in most upscale Sudanese restaurants. The main ingredient in goulash is minced meat. To preserve the natural flavor of the meat, it is lightly seasoned with salt, pepper, and parsley. Shahan Fall This traditional tasty breakfast dish is so popular in Sudan that some people eat it at all hours of the day. Although full is said to have originated in Egypt centuries ago, some say it's a dish that is synonymous with Sudanese people. It is also widely regarded as Sudan's undisputed national dish. Mukbaza Mukbaza is a well-known Sudanese dish from the country's eastern region. 
It is a one-of-a-kind dish that combines sweet and spicy flavors, a popular combination in Sudanese cuisine. This recipe calls for mashed ripe bananas, hot peppers, and lemon juice. Unlike most other dishes, this one is eaten with spoons rather than by hand. Mukbazu is frequently served with kisra, or bread, another Sudanese favorite. Kofta Kofta is a delectable dish that is popular throughout the country. It is made with minced beef rolled into balls, grated garlic, black pepper coriander powder, cumin powder, dried mint, grated onion, freshly chopped tomatoes, chopped fennel leaves, oil, and tomato paste. Kofta is eaten by hand in a rich and spicy tomato-based sauce with bread. It is also accompanied by Sudanese tomato salad. Kawari. Kawari is one of Sudan's favorite and most popular soups. It is also popular in many African, Arab, and other countries around the world. Its main ingredients are cooked sheep or cattle hooves with black pepper, cardamoms, green chili, cinnamon, cloves, garlic, coriander, oil, onion powder, salt, and vinegar. It is frequently accompanied by Sudanese tomato salad and bread. Kajak. Kajak is a popular Sudanese fish stew that also has a following in South Sudan, where it originated. It's made from dried fish and fresh water and cooked into a soup. Kajak is typically eaten by hand with vegetables, porridge, and margarine. It originated in South Sudan. Shaya, Sudanese-style grilled beef or lamb shaya is one of Sudan's most popular dishes. It is pan-fried beef, lamb, or goat and must include bony and fatty pieces for extra flavor. It's made for special occasions, but it's so popular that some people make it every day. It is served with shata, a homemade Sudanese hot sauce, onion, and lemon. It comes with Sudanese tomato salad and bread. Gorasa. Kisra can be replaced with gorasa. It is a Sudanese flatbread baked in a circular shape with wheat flour, baking powder, salt, and yeast. It is exquisitely soft and fluffy, and it is very popular throughout Sudan. It is frequently served with damar, a Sudanese beef stew flavored with tomatoes, oil, onion, garlic, cardamom, and cinnamon. It's also eaten with mullahat like mafra kart bamia, mullakudra, mullahraz, and mullatagalaya. It is typically eaten with one's hands. Kisra. Kisra is well known in Sudan and neighboring countries Chad and South Sudan. It's cooked on a large flat metal tray directly over the heat with dura, sorghum, flour, wheat flour, or dukan flour. Kisra Ayafa is another name for it. It is made every day at home in every region of the country. It can be paired with various mullahat, including mafro kart bamia, mullah damar, mullah kudra, mullah raz, and mullah tagalaya. Kamaunia. Kamaunia is derived from the word cumin, which is the dish's defining spice. It's a delicious stew made with beef or liver. Typical spices include parsley, olive oil, garlic, and plenty of cumin. It comes with rice and is complemented by a fresh tomato salad on the side. Asada with mulla. Asada is indigenous to Northwest Africa, the Maghreb. It has a texture similar to fufu from Central and West African countries. Wheat flour is combined with boiling water and topped with salt, melted butter, or honey. It is typically eaten with one's hands. Weekends, religious holidays such as Eid, and other traditional ceremonies such as marriages and births are all occasions when a seder is served. Served for morning breakfast throughout the country, it is traditionally paired with vegetables and meat stews such as mala. Foul Madame Foul Madame is a popular breakfast in Sudan, served in eateries and homes across the country. It is a stew of fava beans with spices, garlic, lemon juice, tomatoes, some chili pepper, vegetable oil, olive, sesame, fowl, sodoni, feta, arugula, and a hot sauce called shata, topped with spring onion, onions, and slices of boiled egg. It is frequently served with a tomato salad and flatbreads. 
It's high in fiber and protein, and when served without feta and egg, it is suitable for vegans. Instruction before eat check food is halal or haram. To subscribe travel and taste channel and like videos. For further videos stay connected.